Hello, everybody. Hey, this is Shelly, Thrifty Farm Mama, and Rachel, Peaches Pinup. And we are finally coming to you with a thrift haul. Um, and we went to the Goodwill Outlet today. We have not been in months and months. Months, months. We've been wanting to go, but life is busy. Life is crazy. So we finally went today, and we were there for how long? Three hours four hours i think we were there for four hours and so we're gonna just show you guys what we got some of it's for us some of it's to resell um neither of us are doing a ton of reselling right now so we just thought it'd be fun to show you guys uh let us know if you can't hear us at all or if we're too quiet or the video's not very good we're in rachel's basement <laughs> uh we literally just got back we had a glass of wine we ate something and we're like hey let's go live let's show people what we got just because I like to see what people got. So if you... Hauls are the most fun. Yes, mm -hmm. hauls are the most fun. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, my name is Shelly and welcome. I do little videos on uh, sourcing. I do videos on reselling on eBay. Um, just uh, little haul videos, whatever, whatever you guys want. So it's just kind of fun. I like sharing what I got because I like seeing what other people got. So you want to get started? Sure. Okay. Uh, I'll go first. So we have all our stuff like down here, like piles yeah. of stuff. We'll try and be quiet while we yeah. dig it out. So I am probably not going to show you everything, but I'll show you guys what we got. I spent $65 exactly, um, on everything that I'm going to show you today. And our bins are $1.59 for textiles, $1.49, I think for houseware, somewhere around there. Anyway, it's by the pound. If you don't know about the Goodwill outlet, the bins is in other words, it's everything's by the pound. I really enjoy our Goodwill outlet. It's really fun. Um, so some of the things I got, this I got for myself. Life is good. Just a little hat. I'm going to wash it up just for running and walking outside. Not very exciting. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go? Uh, sure. I got, um, Shelly and I like different things. Let's yes. start with that. So that's kind of cool because you guys are going to so see totally different hauls. I got a Cabbage Patch Kids sheet set. It's upside down. Which uh, is cool. You know, a little nostalgic. And um, I find these sell pretty well. People put them into quilts and repurpose them. And um, especially if they're a memory. So I pick them up whenever I see them. Yeah. Um, I found this was in a bin that had been picked over. It is a canvas stripe bag. It's pretty much brand new. Um, it has some French words on it. I'm not going to try to pronounce them. This is a free people little purse. You can see there's the little free people tag on it. Um, so this is in mint condition. There's no stains. There's nothing on it. I'll probably be reselling this. It's nice and big too. So it's pretty cool. This, this will probably sell good on Poshmark. Um, so I'll be... I'll be reselling that one. I thought that was cool. So I got a Holly Hobby um, quilted with a ruffle twin bed topper. Um, it's from the American Greetings Company and um, it's from the 70s. It's in great condition and I will be reselling it to someone who wants to do Holly Hobby projects or just use it as it is. It's nice enough. It's in yeah. good enough condition. It's cute. Yeah. I totally loved Holly Hobby as a kid. That dates me back in the <laughs> 70s. This I found right as I was about to leave. It's just a Tommy Hilfiger um, little canvas duffel bag. Here's the strap. A Tommy Hilfiger is totally like every... It's not an old one. You can see by the tag because it's the narrow one. But it's just this cute little... I don't even know. It. I mean, it hardly cost anything. So has this on the side. There's no damage to it. There's no stains, nothing. So... Um, it's kind of cool. Just a little duffel bag that I'll resell. Nice little quick out yep. the door find. Yep. I was like, oh, I'll take that. Thank so you. So I found a vintage 70s bark cloth. Um, little girls and boys a crib quilt with this polka dot backing. Mint condition. Beautiful. To resell for someone to repurpose. Oh, my daughter's watching. Hi, Michaela. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. I got you some stuff too, Michaela. She's my daughter. She's 16. Okay, um, this is really cool. This is probably one of my only linens that I got was this giant, this is one side of it. It's very thick. It has like these ruffle edges. 
Um, and then the back side of it is more of the navy blue and pink. It's super heavy and it's really big, so I'm not gonna lift up the whole thing. But all the blankets at the Goodwill outlet are $1.99. So this was only $1.99. And I don't think I saw a tag on it, so I don't know what the brand is, but it's super it's, heavy and it's really, it's probably a full size. Yeah, and I think it's old. I yeah. definitely think it's vintage. It definitely has the quality of something that's older, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, w I was like, you need this in your life. Mm -hmm. Don't pass up. So this is a handmade... This is so funny. <laughs> ...turtle from the 70s. Here's the head. And the little... Um, sleeping bag for your little person, which I am going to... Here's the little arms... And legs and the little tail. I'm gonna give to my toddler for movie time. This is the front. I'd love to resell it, but it's so adorable and I'll never find it again. So, so that's the, one of the cool things about the Goodwill outlet is it, you can find things that are super unique that nobody else would have or find anywhere else, which is why I don't mind doing haul videos because. It, everything is so unique. You're not just going to go buy a whole bunch of those turtle sleeping bags somewhere and yeah, find not, it anywhere. Every time we go, it's like a treasure hunt. It's I'm super fun. I'm not worried about the market being saturated yeah. on that one for sure. Um, This was another thing I bought. I have a problem. My problem <laughs> is I love kids clothes and baby clothes and I have no babies anymore. But I bought this like little organic cotton and giraffe. Love giraffes. I love giraffes. Mm -hmm. It's Milk Barn. It's a really good quality. It's like three to six months. It was so cute. I couldn't just, it oh, weighs yeah. nothing. I just, I couldn't leave it. So How could you pass up on it? I had to get it. It's super cute. So I actually found this. Someone had thrown it back and I thought, why would they throw it back? And then I smelled it and I figured out why. It is a Harley Davidson leather back, mm -hmm. je black jean, denim, denim coat. And it smells yeah. like it needs a good soaking. But then as long as I can get it out, no problem. You know? I kept it separate from all my other things as long as I could. So it's going to be a treasure for someone to find. All Harley Davidson buttons. Real scuff marks, you know? Yeah. It's awesome. So I'm not going to show you guys all the stuff I got for my kids because that's really boring. But... <laughs> Just so you guys know, like the the Goodwill Outlet's a great place to shop for your kids. Like I found these cute little skinny jean Levi's for my daughter. I got this book for my son. Yep. I did find these. I'll probably resell. These are Lands End Total High Waisted Mom Jeans. These are awesome. Size 12. Um, tapered leg. Somebody's going to love these. I could model them, but that would just be scary. Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> So I got this um, wizard uh, Harry Potter Universal Studios made in Scotland real wool from uh, Harry Potter little sweater. It's a Gryffindor house. It'll be nice for Halloween or a, a big fan. I'm a true super Harry Potter nerd and, and mm -hmm. I just am a magnet for all this cool stuff and I want to sell it. I know. It's so fun. My son wants to be Harry Potter, so if it fit him, I would totally yeah. get that. This is the kind of stuff I buy for my girls. Doot, 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 because they will love it. <laughs> so that's for my daughter. Um, I do buy a lot of... Um, I'm, I do buy a lot of bras. So I did find a lot of Victoria's Secret bras. Um, in the, some of them in similar sizes, so I'm going to lock them up together. Um, so that'll work. I'm just going through stuff that I bought for my kids. Okay. I want to save one of the coolest things for later, so go okay. ahead. So I bought this. Someone had made it. It's a nice little, um, what are these called? Is that a bikini? Yeah, it's, <laughs> no, it's like a, it's not a bunting. That's for babies. Banner? They, I think it's a banner. It's a banner, yeah. A flag banner. Um, but it's all, it's made out of all vintage sheets and vintage linens, so it's like true to my heart for myself. For my sewing room. It's really cool. That is cool. Yeah. See, I didn't even get to see that. No, I just went, oh, that's, I know that one. I know a lot of these prints, too. Mm -hmm. um, I save them for projects and stuff. So. That's cute. I bought it. And it weighs nothing. Probably cost some pennies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I brought this cool leather belt. It's American Eagle. Super exciting. I know. 
Um, I did find this brand new sports bra, um, and it's just a champion um, sports bra. It still has the tag on it. I'm just now realizing how much linens I bought. You bought a lot of linens. I have Rachel's linens. the linen queen. She I, buys a lot of linens. I have a linens problem. Yeah. This is sure. um, uh, 100% cashmere. I buy anything 100% cashmere because I will, even if there's flaws in it, I'll throw it together in a lot. Um, so, but I don't see any holes in this one. I just need to clean it up and double check it. But it's 100% cashmere sweater. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay, so I bought this sleeping bag with this cool print. Um, because I had one growing up that was my mother's, and it I, I always called it a fart sack. I looked it up on eBay. <laughs> That's not its name. It goes, it has a zipper that goes halfway up your body. And then it has these buttons. So you can clip it over your shoulders and have your arms out. It's like the 70s Snuggie, I guess. Yeah. But your feet are in. So you're pretty sure that fart sack is not what it's called. Fart sack is not the name for sure. So if anybody watching knows what these are called. Yeah. The tags don't even have a name on it. That would be kind of cool. So it's like the vintage Snuggie before yeah. Snuggies came out. Before, And it's in really good shape. And I'm probably going to keep it. I don't know. Unless yeah. they're going for big money. It's, <laughs> it's a memory. We used to take them to our volleyball tournaments. And... Share it. Share the fart yes. sack. I don't know. That was its name. More bras. So one thing I like about bras is this is these are cute. These are all Victoria's Secret bras that I found. Um, they're super lightweight. Uh, they're easy to clean, mm -hmm. for the most part. They're easy to store, and everybody needs bras. And you, any woman knows that once you find. The bra. The bra, your style, you don't ever want to go back. So, and sometimes we can find new ones. Like this was a newer, a new one. It still mm -hmm. has like the, it doesn't have the original tag, but it has a tag here and it doesn't have any wear on it. And this is a really good brand. It's an Olga brand. So it's, there's nothing special about it. It's just a beige t-shirt bra. It's, you know, it's not going to sell for a ton, but they're super light. So. Oh, Izzy says hi. Hi, Izzy. Izzy's my daughter's best friend. So I um, buy all of the in good shape uh, dresser scarves, table linens. Um, yeah, I this one. Sometimes I have to soak them. Sometimes they're just fine. But I loved the pattern on this. It's a. This is why we do great at the bins together, though, because we'll be like across the bins from each other and I'll find this kind of stuff and I just throw it at her. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, look at this. And she'll find like Lululemon and yeah. throw it at me and be like, hey, what do you think of that? And I'm yeah. like, yes, please, thank you. Mm -hmm. So we're we're a great team. We do work really, yeah, Yeah. this one. I just love all the detailing, all the hand work, I know. I do too, I love it, but I know that I'm not gonna use it and I'm yeah. not gonna list it because I don't enjoy listing it and she does, so I'm like, you take it. I, and that's I, awesome. To put Lululemon and just kill me now. Please. <laughs> it's not my <laughs> cup of tea at all. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fine. I'll take all yeah. the Lululemon yep. you have. Oh, wait for it. I found one that's awesome. Oh, yeah. What is that? This is a Ooh, that is crocheted vintage that. apron. I love handmade. it. Handmade. Snatched that up. Oh, my gosh. That that's might, so cute. That might not. That might not make it to uh, for that, sale. That might stay. See, I buy kids <laughs> stuff and she buys linens and you should see her closet. We're like in her sewing room so you can see like she's got so much fabric. I yeah, I don't do. I don't sew. Mm -mm. Yeah. I can stitch like hand stitch and that's about it. Buttons. Okay. Yeah, and my mom's a seamstress. <laughs> yeah. But if my you My mom's a hairdresser. <laughs> yeah. If you're having a baby, I'll help you. Oh yeah. If you need anything medical, I'm your girl, but as long as you don't want to show her, mm -mm. it's a deal. I don't, <laughs> I'm not going to ham your pants. Yeah. <laughs> no, nope. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, these are just a pair of little LuLaRoe tween. These are for my daughter. Nothing super exciting. Uh, my younger daughter, not you, Michaela. Those are for Amelia. Yeah. Um, old Navy t-shirt for my son. 
Oh, here was a pair of some brand new just yoga pants that that <laughs> the Goodwill wanted fourteen ninety seven for them. Crazy. Uh no. They're, uh, they're originally, originally forty. 40. They're Speedo brand. Oh, they are Speedo brand. But they're like the straight leg. Like, those aren't really popular right now. So I'll probably put them up on Poshmark for like 10 bucks. I'll give you 10 bucks for them. I'll try them on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to sell to each yeah. other. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Go ahead. So I, um, I also buy all of the finished pillowcases. So there's this one. That's super cute. And this one, and I, sometimes I'll put them in a I lot. I found this one. I, yeah. That one's really cute. Sometimes I put them in a lot. Sometimes um, I sell them individually. I really like to get the stamped ones or the partially finished, and I'll sell those to people who want to do them. And uh, I have people buy them and reuse them into things, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this is another new with tags. Yes, you can get new with tags at the Goodwill Outlet. This is Free Press, which is a Nordstrom brand. Um, and they are just some pink and gray floral, super soft um, sweatpants or like pajama pants type things. So this is a tablecloth that I just immediately went, this is silk. I don't know what the netting is. Oh, yeah. And I couldn't find a tag on it. But I know I wasn't going to find it again. But it is a sheer. Ooh, that's really pretty. I with didn't a see yellow. That. Oh, my gosh. I so know. Gorgeous. That's so cool. And soft. Yeah. It's a little stain. Yeah. I, and I'm not afraid of stain. I can get a stain out. Yeah. I feel like challenge accepted. I feel like, ooh, that's too much work. I can soak things. I've got a couple little concoctions. Like, I like the it's new like a chemistry. Yeah, like this. Know. Another baby thing. But it's Cynthia Rowley. I love Cynthia Rowley's stuff. It's just from Marshalls, but it was $19.99 at Marshalls. Um, and it's just this cute little top. I might give it to my cousin. She just had a baby girl. It's oh, size 24 yeah. months. It's really cute. Because I this is kind of stuff's hard to sell on its own because people don't want to pay shipping for it. But this, again, kids. Okay, look at this cute little sweater. Oh, and so cute. this is a Janie and Jack. So if you see Janie and Jack, that's a really good brand mm -hmm. um, for kids' clothes. And it is super cute. I need to get this listed right away because this is totally fall and winter and... Um, that's going to do really well. Look, new with tags. I got a pair of socks for my daughter, my 10 year old, Amelia. This, oh, you can never have enough socks. You can never have enough socks with kids because the sock monster always steals them from the dryer. So I'm, I always get socks or at the Goodwill outlet. my kid just takes one sock off. My foot got wet. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where it went. He does. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> why, why do you only have one sock on? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Where is it? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And then you find it like three weeks later out in the driveway. Yeah, or in my car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's there's that sock. There's your sock. Mm -hmm. So I also buy crocheted tableland yes. because I know how much work went into this, and I appreciate it. And I know there's ladies out here that out there that upcycle them and turn them into different things. So, yeah. and I, you know, I just put it up on my wall and I photograph it and. It's in great shape. I pick it up for super cheap. Oh, you got cheap. a couple of them. I got two. Um, now, I I know that they have a few little spots, but it's just little coffee spots and stuff. They're so beautiful. But like Rachel said, you soak them, and if you sun them too, oh, yeah. sunning them also takes the spots out. And, uh, you know, put a color underneath here on yeah. your table, and it's so beautiful. Yeah. So if you guys watch any of my other videos, you'll know that I love vintage clothes, like mm -hmm. 90s and 80s stuff. I'm just like, yeah. I'm drawn to it. So mm -hmm. I found this really awesome purple vintage jacket. Look at the waist on that baby. It's got these nice little cuffed sleeves. It's got the floral inside. It's so cool. And it's got nice like shoulder pads on it. It's sweet. So I'm going to list this i'm gonna put a and oh look at these pockets too like the puckered puff pockets i love it so i'll list this over i'll probably cross post it. it's a size small but it's it's baggy and loose fit it's pretty cool so there's a couple of things i always buy 
when we go thrifting and I collect and then I sell in a lot and one of them is hankies mm -hmm. that are unique Ooh, that's really pretty. bright and I iron know I wash them and I have a little pile up there and when I get a nice big stash of them I list them and they go for good money nice mm -hmm. but if you try and sell two or three they will sit there forever yeah because they're real easy to ship do you yeah. have any more I do. I've got lots more. Um, as we were getting near the end, I found a pair of Koi scrubs. If you're going to get scrubs, I don't recommend getting any scrubs. These are Koi. Koi is a really good brand and they happen to be my size. So these will go in my closet because mm -hmm. they're my favorite. So I always buy um, any quilt blocks patterns. These happen to be Christmas themed. And those sell all day long to make a quick, easy quilt for a Christmas present. So, oh, I didn't really show you the blocks, but they're um, are they an they're are angels, angels and babies and, you know, Jesus. Jesus and Mary. Mm -hmm. um, so another vintage dress. This is really cool. If you watch the bin pickers, they just found a whole bunch of these also. Uh -oh. um and they're just this super lacy i might have to f fight this out of my four-year-old's hands because the spin factor on this dress is mm -hmm. pretty incredible so this has this has to be from the early 80s i'm guessing so purple so with a white cool. little pinafore over the top of it um that i will probably sell easy yeah quickly so the other thing i always pick up is doilies that have been handmade because um, people upcycle them, but they also make them into dream catchers. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. huh. So if they're in a circle pattern, they're a beautiful home decoration to put into a dream catcher. I will so, be not doing that project. Yep. Just I, You will be buying that project. <laughs> I will not buy it. I actually don't like dream catchers. So. Oh. Well, it's a, cool, it's a cool trendy boho thing right now. I know. And so as long as they're in good shape, I will sell them in a lot. And, you know, People there's enough them. of them, first class or a padded flat rate, you know, yeah. super easy. Okay, um, I got this Lucky Brand um, hooded sweatshirt, and it's just cream, this floral pattern on it. I might keep this for myself. I'm kind of sad because Costco now sells Lucky Brand, mm -hmm. which I think kind of devalues the brand a bit i know the jeans don't do very well but we've done pretty good with the tops and the sweatshirts so but this is there's no stains on this i might keep it i don't know i haven't decided yet so i bought this for my daughter it's actually for a little boy but she oh, will dig cute. it it's nice and warm little hickory yeah <laughs> that's really it's cute adorable that's buffalo plaid yep i had to did you know you knew what buffalo yeah i told you about it yeah no i already knew no i, I told you never mind okay it's not like um i got this really cool vintage sweater Ooh, maybe i'll keep it i think you should it's got fall leaves on it look at this here's the bottom this is 100 percent wool and there's the tag and it's a vintage sweater um i th thought i saw there's a couple little snags in it but it's not bad but it's actually really soft it's not a uh, really itchy wool so um that's what i got another vintage top so i don't really like selling clothes but i do love selling pajamas mm -hmm. so i found these i spotted the pants actually and I went, ooh, that's a Ralph Lauren tag. And then I found the top and did a little happy dance. That is cute. And it has this on the pocket. So a little monogram. It won't go for much, but it's adorable. Mm -hmm. And it'll be cheap to ship. I got this little peasant top. Oh, yeah. It's super cute. And then it has, um, actually, I found the string to go with it. It ties in the that back, kind find. of like a corset. Gosh, it's so, it looks so bright. But it's off the shoulder. It is, it is really cute. It'll be cute for a costume this winter or whatever. Oh, that's cool. 
Yeah. And then this too, the yeah. um, Jack Skeleton. Just in time. Just in time. This I will probably end up giving to my 10 year old daughter. Sorry, Michaela, it wasn't in your size. Yep, not this time. Mm -mm. But this is in your size. <laughs> Just in case anybody's needing a wolf and a woman in the woods. T shirt. It's awesome. Yeah. By the mountain by, brand. By the mountain. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. I actually bought a wolf one for my husband, kind of like the Hangover movie, and he will not wear it in public, so now he has two. Why? It's awesome. He will now. That is awesome. Okay, so next awesome thing I have to show you is this yes. baby. It's so awesome, I gotta try it on. <laughs> Model. Fashion show. <sighs> okay. This is what I'm talking about. You can't find that Look anywhere at this. else. Look at the back on that. Yes. Buttons in the front. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Look at these shoulders. There's Those are like scales coming off. So cool. Acid washed. Yes. It is so cool. And the best part, shoulder pads. Shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. Added bonus. Early 80s, maybe mid 80s. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. This it was just one needs of my, some parachute pants. It just need yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, some joggers, yeah. some yeah. loose fit joggers, acid wash. Nice. You know who I'm thinking of. Yep. And those are re that's real leather trim. Real. Yeah, that's legit. It is too legit to quit. <laughs> <laughs> too I, legit to quit. <laughs> I um, found this, and yeah, now this is where we go. Me. <laughs> and I found <laughs> this pillowcase and then another thing I always pick up that's a huge pillowcase it is I think it's a king size is these little quilted baby books this one's Winnie the Pooh and they will go for ten dollars or more depending on hmm. what they are little baby books see and I wouldn't even think twice about grabbing that mm -hmm. um okay another kids sweatshirt that I got I normally wouldn't pick up a kids hoodie it's got the faux fur but but dun dun dun, it's mini Bowden, yeah. and that's worth it. If you find a mini Bowden sweatshirt, pick it up. Anything Bowden, anything Bowden. Well, it's very high quality and yes. it resells well. I love Bowden, um, and it's super expensive to buy new. Mm -hmm. So when you can find it, especially when you have a family, yeah, when you can find it. So I always buy J Crew for the same reason. So this is a little sweater tank top because who Ooh, doesn't it's got a sequins on it a sweater tank top in the winter but it's j crew mm -hmm. and i know it'll go to a beautiful home it's like a cream color with sequins i will buy j crew all day long and um it doesn't have the dot so it's not j crew factory that's important yes if there's a dot on it that means j crew factory so mm -hmm. this is another olga bra Olga's a good brand. I don't wonder if it's the same size. I bet those are the same size. If those are the same size. I will lock them together. Yeah. Um, this was a throwback from somebody else. I don't know why they threw it back because it's super. That's how I got the smelly. Super coat. nice. This is a white puffer jacket. It's North Face. Oh, sorry. The North Face. Mm -hmm. The North Face. It's a women's size medium. And it is super nice. Um, it's a down puffer coat. It has a few marks on it, but I really don't think it's going to be difficult to get it out. It, I think it must have had a fur lining at one point because there's a zipper on the inside. Um, but that is missing. But yeah, this was in a bin that had by a ton of people. And it was actually in like the housewares bin. So you know somebody had put it in their cart and then decided yeah, no. they didn't want it. So... Mm -hmm. Um, it's in, it's in really, it's a really nice jacket. So I was super pumped when I saw the North Face tag. Yeah. And I grabbed it because that's pretty it's cool. It's a, a better price than garage sailing. Oh yeah, definitely. Because that's. For sure. That's pro that probably weighs about a pound. Yeah. Or a pound and a half. So mm -hmm. that jacket probably cost me about $2. That's, yeah, you're not going to get that in mm -mm. garage sale. No. That's crazy. So I buy patterns because I don't need them, but I do. <laughs> So this one I will be selling. It's My Little Pony Christmas Ornaments. Ooh. 
vintage. So, and they're not cut. Ooh. That's a key thing to not have them cut. So I snatched that one up. And then I got the older, the better and yeah. the more unique. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah. So this is for my daughter. Little dress. That is really cute. I didn't see, I haven't seen any of these. Yeah. So I, what I do is I grab all of the patterns and then I sort yes. through them because... Basically like this. Yes. She's like, patterns, and patterns. The, and because people throw things. And so mm -hmm. poor little patterns like this, Aww. you know, in a regular envelope that's 60 to that is so more cool. years old, and I have the nice lady's address, it was just, look at, look at how there's like nothing. Oh. 79th Street, Seattle, like... That, you know where that that's is. That's how old it is. And I love her um, doing her math, you know, calculations for bills or who knows on the back. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. But the pattern is for, because there, you don't get a picture or anything. It's not for that. I know. I got oh. excited. That's so cute. A little girl's complete back to school outfit. Cute. You've got her little coat. It's probably 40s. I didn't look for a little coat, little shirt, a little dress. All in here. Super rad. That is really cute. Yeah. So that one I was pretty excited about. Then these, and this next one is for me because why not? Look at that. Total funky. Yeah. I love these great big huge sleeves. Yeah, I need this in my life. Where will I wear it? I probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably just move it around my pattern stash. Where will I wear it? I <laughs> probably won't. I probably won't. But it's I going in my sleeves. pattern stash. Yeah. I just love the sleeve. This is just for me. Rachel found this. She goes, hey, you would like this. And I said, yes, I would. The coloring is so you. Yeah. So that's going to be for me. We should talk about what our... So whenever we go to the bins, we always make a like list that we discuss. Like, hey, keep an eye out for this. Keep an eye out for this. Mm -hmm. Now knowing... And you've seen my entire haul. My own goal was to get clothes for my kids, myself, and my husband. I, I'm not linens at all. <laughs> and what did we come home with? Yeah. Linens. Linens. Yeah. <laughs> and patterns. And I was not going to get a lot of stuff to resell yeah. because I just moved and I don't have a lot of space to keep it. And I got stuff to resell. Mm -hmm. It's so, too... but this is why we haven't gone in so many months because you just don't know. Yeah. When, when, when you go, go, when I go for linens, there isn't, there any. isn't any. Oh, yeah. I love those. Yeah. These are a pair of camo. Um, here is the brand tough athletics and they're just like a running Pants. Legging. Leggings. Are they a large too? No. I was going to say. They're women's medium. Um, I was going to have my daughter, Michaela, try them on. Oh, yeah. And Their see pants. if she likes them. Oh, Michaela, I also got you these. Look at this pocket. Sweatpants. That's cool. I know. You could put your phone in there. Your sneaky pocket. Yep. Um, oh, this was the Lululemon top that Rachel found me. Mm -hmm. Just a cute little tank top. Um, here's the back. It's a size four. So for those of you who, there's the Lululemon logo. For those of you who don't know, the size tag is on the inside. So the newer ones have the size tag on the inside of the bra pocket part. So there's the uh, four. So it's little, most Lululemon is tiny. Mm -hmm. um, the bigger sizes of course sell better, but it's pretty tiny. Take what you get. You take what you get, yeah. For 50 cents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a pile of ties. Oh, okay. I got some. <gasps> What's this? Oh, yeah. I got this little hanky. It's a silk. That's beautiful. This was my linen that I got. <laughs> this I got for my mom. Oh, yeah. For my mother. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. It's really pretty. But yeah, it's this little silk hanky. And then I got a whole bunch of these really cool textured ties that I'm going to put three of them in together lot. in a lot because they're super they're wild and rad colors. Mm -hmm. And somebody who likes one will most likely like them all. Yes. They were obviously at a garage sale somewhere. Yeah. But they're, I think most of them are designed in Italy. 
And this was just a Craft and Barrow. It's a brand new tag. Still has the tags on it. So that's a tie. That's why I bought it because mm -hmm. it's brand new. And so, ties are another thing like bras that are super light. Yes. Easy. And easy to store. Done. Yeah. So I bought this scarf. Shelly found it. It needs a little cleaning up. It's not the best brand. It's Banana Republic made in Italy. It's 100% silk. But I do sell scarves. Sometimes you have to sit on them. But that is so gorgeous. It is really pretty. And scarves are the best accessory. Michaela, if you're still watching. For you. She got your back, man. They're awesome. These awesome. are the two things I got for my daughter. Oh, except for the buffalo check. This dress that Shelly found. Super cute. Little jimbery dress. Yep. And this coat, which is technically for a boy, but when you're playing in the dirt, it doesn't really matter. Blue's what color blue. It is. It's Columbia. I got this Jansport backpack that either my girls will like or I will sell it because it's in excellent condition. It has a bottom. The bottom's in great shape. Oh, like there's yeah, like yeah, yeah. hardly anywhere. A little bit of scuffing right there, but it's, it's in pretty good. Yeah, it's and in pretty rainbow print. Right, and purple, which is. Mm -hmm. And I also got this Nike duffel bag that was in great shape. Comes with the shoulder strap. Michaela says yes. Mm -hmm. So I got that too. And do you have anything else? Or are you done? I am out. Okay, I've just got a couple more things. Oh, I have my, I have this blanket. Oh, I did find this awesome. I haven't even looked it up yet. It's this IKEA um, new brand new with the tag on it. Again, most of these things we found in bins that were picked over. So mm -hmm. I have, I actually hate um, when they bring out a new yeah, row and, and waiting and everybody goes through. at the same yeah. time. I would much rather, I find enough stuff just going through after everyone's done, looking through stuff. Um, so this was in a bin that had already been looked over. If you find anything Ikea that... Um, if you find anything Ikea that still is brand new, look it up because most Ikea stuff, people will love it and then it goes out of out of print or mm -hmm. it, they stop making it. So, um, Or your child spills on one cushion. Right. Yeah. And then you can't find the other Not one. Not a real life experience at all. Yeah. I bought this little Tupperware container because I like the vintage Tupperware stuff. Um, as well. If you've watched any of my Revere wear video i like revere wear so i actually found the pot and the lid again in a bin that had yeah i kind of have a collection of revere wear so i found that one and um i found a few i'm really loud with my revere wear, you guys it's horrible sorry if when i can find the lid to it this this needs to be cleaned yes i know thank you i love revere wear this one needs to be cleaned. Obviously, somebody was like, they cook their dinner and they're like, I really don't want to wash this. So, so gonna we're just going to donate it. Donate just put it. it in the donate pile, kids. It's so gross how many things oh, you guys. when you dig through the bins are like, oh, I don't want to wash it. So I'll just donate it. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> hmm. For real. That's a little baking soda and boiling. This is yeah. really old though. So I think I can definitely get those stains out. But this is this. <laughs> well, I don't know. If you need some help, let me know. It's going to be a project. Yeah. But this is an old one. This is pre-1960. I know you guys can't even see the back, but it's pre-1968. And I know that because there is a little circle around the Revere Wear. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. but You can't. They can't. No, you yeah. can't. It just looks really dirty. It just looks really dirty. <laughs> but it is there. Yeah. Um, and then I got a water bottle that's new. A stainless steel water bottle for one of my kids for That's school. Cool. And I got like this brand new Contigo um, I coffee cup. Those up too. So you can never have enough travel mugs. You can't. And when you pay such little prices mm -hmm. for them, um, they. Yeah. When you buy them brand new. <gasps> yeah. Ow. Yeah. It's so expensive. They're so expensive. Ugh. Yeah. And oh. then it's always when you leave them in the car. And like a week later, and you're like, well, there goes $13, because yeah. I'm just going to throw that in the garbage. <laughs> yeah. 
So I got this blanket. So the only bin that I will elbow it out like a rebound in basketball. Guess. The linens. The linens. Mm -hmm. Because from across the room, I spotted this blanket, which is reversible. Ooh. And wool. Is it really? It's going to photograph so well. It's not a brand that I recognize right away, which I won't even tell you the brands because I don't want you to buy them. Because <laughs> I want to buy them. But <laughs> when it, you know it's a quality blanket when they do a nice big fat tag for you. It's going to be upside down. And they sew it in. Mm -hmm. It does have a polyester e trim trim so that brings the value down when they have to write high quality blanket in english it's gonna be fun finding this brand <laughs> it'll be a treasure hunt but the pattern alone is really cool yeah so that's why i picked it up for a dollar 99 so how much did you spend about 50 bucks okay yeah so between the two of us with all the stuff we bought, we spent about 115 total. Mm -hmm. So I think we did pretty good. Yeah. Definitely with the things we're going to sell, we'll make our money back. and No doubt. We got lots of just my blankets. I think oh. so. Mm -hmm. I think if I just sell my denim jacket. Oh, yeah. $100. $150. Yeah. This baby is like, this is so awesome. Cool. I know y'all want it. Mm -hmm. I know you do. Y'all. I know y'all want it. From Washington. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it, you guys. Um, that was our haul today. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Let us know if you want to see any more of these. Or you have any questions. Because mm -hmm. we go local thrifting, too, so we'd be happy to do that. But thanks mm -hmm. for watching so much. It's a smaller haul. Um, I know it's late, and thanks all of you who have hung out Catch this whole time. Tomorrow. Yeah. And let us know what you think and if you want to see any more and uh, anything else. Mm. No? <laughs> Good. Good night, Izzy. What do you think about a wine chat? Oh, a, Ooh, a wine chat. Mm. Since we're so late. Okay, give us some topics. Yeah. Give us some topics to talk about and we'll come talk to you guys. I just need an excuse to drink wine. Oh, yeah. I don't really need an excuse. <laughs> Comes in front. Right. Okay, you guys. Take care. Thanks. We'll see you guys later. Bye.